Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. What happens when you install a system in a level yard and you don't have enough fall to get it out to the street for it to flow? Well, here's a great example of a customer that had a system installed by a landscaper and they did a great job of installing. However, there is no fall from the back yard here at the collection to the street. It actually runs uphill. So if you have this problem and you've had one installed or maybe you did it yourself, let me show you how easy it is to fix it. I mean, you've already done all this work and it's really not that hard, but you can see it is very uphill from this catch basin out to the front yard. So let's start with the collection. This is a nine by nine catch basin and you can see that it was set just a little bit too high and it's probably because you, you were worried about how much fall you had, would it drain out to the street properly? Always look and see. Check check and make sure you've got good downhill run. You can see there is none here. So you've got an area back here that floods when it rains and it's probably 20 by 20 that area floods. Because it's uphill from here, this area that floods out to the street, we need to put a sump pump in here to lift that water up and send it out to the street. So remember, water runs downhill, and it would be great if you could achieve that 1% slope that you know people talk about. That would be great, but sometimes you cannot do that. So at that point, we need to go ahead and dig this old system up, put the sump pump in, and we're going to run inch and a half Schedule 40 PVC all the way out here to the front. The Zoller M98 is a very powerful pump and it will lift that water up, send it through that inch and a half pipe and discharge right out here at the sidewalk and let it drain away. So yeah, there is a little bit of digging involved to correct the problem, but it's really not hard. And it's something that takes only a few hours at the most to do. You know, you're gonna actually use the same trench that you were in before and we're gonna pull up some of the old pipe but the big thing here really, again, is always double check and make sure that you have downhill run to your discharge. And you can see it is so flat, it's actually uphill and a pump was needed to begin with. So we're gonna lift up this old pipe and you can see whoever installed this is just barely under the ground. Again, they're trying to achieve fall, but they cannot, it just doesn't work, it's uphill. We dug the pipe up over here just to see, you know, how deep this pipe really is. And it's only an inch deep to the top of the pipe. So we can actually just lift this pipe up and rip it right out of the ground. We don't need to excavate. Watch this. You can pull that old pipe right out of the ground because it's not deep at all. And it was it's just installed. And by the way, you'll know if your system works as soon as it rains. As soon as it rains. If it doesn't work, of course, that means it was uphill to the street. Once you've removed your old system, your old pipe, you do need to excavate it a little deeper. So you can see we've went deeper and we've added the French drain. It comes over to that sump pump. And if you notice, you can still use some of your pipe. We're going to use their existing pipe, but we added a catch basin. And that is the beginning of the line. It actually comes back downhill and it turns and runs over to the sump basin. Now all the water from this 20 by 20 area that flooded is turned towards the sump basin. We also lowered the existing catch basin about a half an inch and it all comes over here to the sump pump. The sump pump is going to lift it up and send it out to the street. And you can see our inlet line bringing the French drain and catch basins into the basin of the pump. I'm going to show you how to set the sump pump up and you can easily install this yourselves. Okay, a little bit noisy out here, but let's set up the Zoller M98. Comes in the box, got that three year warranty on it. Start with a male threaded inch and a half adapter. It screws right into this port. Just get it on there as tight as your hand can make it. Nice. Next, we cut a small piece of PVC. We're gonna drill a 3 16th inch hole pressure relief valve but we need this little riser because we want to get it above this protection bar on that protection bar or excuse me on the riser we're going to go ahead and put in our check valve a check valve only allows water to flow one way and all check valves have some type of markings this one has arrows pointing in the direction 
That's going to set right on the top. And we'll tighten that up with our handy dandy drill, 5 16 inch bit. No hub is has stainless steel clamps, it goes around it. Let's glue it together. Okay, I drilled the pressure relief hole. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue that up. This is an all in one. That means it's got primer built into the glue. And glue up both fittings, push and hold, and that's ready to go. Next, we'll put our, our check valve on. Remember that we need those arrows pointing upwards. Nice tight fit. Nice tight fit. There's actually a slot for that band. You can't miss it. Then using your handy dandy, just as tight as that drill can make it. This is ready to go install into the basin. It's just that simple. So basically what we did was we redirected that water. Remember it was trying to go out to the front and it could not. So we added a catch basin. We lowered the existing catch basin, added French drain, and redirected that water over to the sump basin. So we dug that sump basin. We set up the Zoller M98 and we actually used the same trench for our discharge. This is an easy fix, and unfortunately, if you have to do it, hopefully this video will help you understand how easy it is to correct this problem. So here's our Zoller M98 plumbed and discharging through the side of the sump basin. You can see the inlet line that brings in all the water from the catch basin and from the French drain. Brings it in, sump pump lifts it up, sends it out. We're already backfilling. You can see that two lines in one trench inch and a half goes all the way out to the street so let's recap real quick remember that when we got here we saw a yard drain that didn't function because it ran uphill and it didn't have any place for that water to go and you can see what we've done starting here at the sidewalk we've got our trademark grate which we've screwed together so that the pump cannot push it off <laughs> we hear that that keyword pump you can see our inch and a half pipe that's coming back to the sump pump. And as the water, as it rains here, and water floods back there by chance, we have easy flow down in the ground. And we have catch basins to help collect that water. Here's one. And we have another one back here. It's a nine by nine. You can set, see it's properly set and installed down below grade, just about a half an inch below grade. And that, all this is French drain is easy flow. Comes over, still all easy flow. Comes all the way over to the sump pump. The sump pump lifts that water up and sends it all the way out to the street. The discharge line happens to be in the same trench as the old pipe. And you can see the old pipe right there. We went ahead and made that a little deeper to make sure that it flowed properly. Then we just pulled the old pipe out completely because it doesn't do anything. So a great job for the do-it-yourselfer, take you a couple hours. And when you're all done, you snap on that lid, finish your backfill, plug your pump in, and you're ready to go. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.